Okay, welcome back. Uh, you're with us here on Bazaar Morning Call. There's about 10 minutes to go for the pre-open session. Uh, Mitesh and uh, uh, Srikant are with us to run us through uh, the technical trading setup and what you should be doing. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Good to have both of you here. Mitesh, uh, you know, the 20-day moving average has also moved up a little bit, right? About, at about 18,460 or so. Uh, so not that much of a distance. Uh, the question, though, is will we test it and bounce off it or uh, will it lead to a deeper correction? Your sense? Yeah. Uh, morning, Prashant. In fact, you know, I've been highlighting this 18,450 uh, give and take 23 points as the broad support area. The 20 day average is there, a couple of retracement levels are there. So uh, I think uh, that's a very important level. The initial feel is that we should not possibly uh, break below that level because uh, the overall structure hasn't yet weakened. So I think dips closer to about 18,450, uh, 470 would be a welcome buying opportunity and you can keep a stop just below 18,400 or so. And I think the market will still, uh, you know, be range bound choppy with uh, 18,450 possibly uh, as the lower end of the range and about 18,880, 8, 850 as the upper end of the range. So next few days will be spent within this consolidation. That's the view which we have been having for the last couple of days and maintain that. Okay, all right, Matesh. Uh, good to hear your thought on the index. Coming back to you for your stock picks, but let's get in Srikant. Morning, Srikant. Well, how do you trade the index? It seems we're closer to the 20 DMA. The PCR as well has cooled off considerably. It was at around 1.5, just around, you know, seven, eight days ago. It's come down to around 0.75. Your sense on the index? Yeah. Good morning, Nigel. I think, yeah, the markets are heading towards important support area. Yesterday, the market um, was consolidating between the range of 560 and 600, but in the second half, we saw sharp decline in the market. So based on the technical formation, the next level to watch out for would be 18,450 where the market is having support in, in terms of uh, extension, in terms of retracement, in terms of averages. So there we need to take contra bet of going long in the market. But till then, we need to be careful. In case if there is any higher opening, then we need to take some uh, like short bets on the market. We, we should look for taking some uh, selling bets in the market. But in case if we see the market is dropping to the levels of 18,450, then there certainly we should be buying. Okay, all right. What about individual stocks, Srikant? What are you looking at? Yeah, uh, based on the current formation, uh, we should look for creating some short positions on Indescent Bank, which is currently around 1165, 1170. There we are expecting stock to fall to the next level of 1100 or maybe 1019. Uh, here we can keep stop loss at 1200 for the same. And the other stock which we like is Ambuja Cement, which is around 582, 583. It is uh, above the important level of 580, and based on its option statistics, I think it is heading for the levels of 595 or maybe 600. So, Ambuja Cement is a buy at current levels with a stop loss around 574. Mm. Uh, Mitesh, uh, what about you? Yeah. Uh, Prashant, I have a mix of buy and sell calls today. Uh, the good beneficiary, Asian Paint, should be a buy. It's given a good breakout also yesterday. So, keep a stop at 3200, 3290 being the target here. And a buy on Medico with a stop at 504 for targets of 522. On the sell side is Bata India uh, with a stop at 1705 for targets of 1650. And Havels is a sell as well. Keep a stop at 1221 for targets of 1170. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, Mitesh. Well, for the time being, though, we'll slip into a short break. We'll come back with the pre-opening rates.